you're going to see Plant continually run Thomas into the line and then eventually turn around and try to get Williams running on the outside. And it was successful there because that's what set that. Brad Wakefield, the 5'10", 175-pound senior. Dante Williams gets the ball on Plant's first offensive play on the right side of that Terrier defensive line. Does the job. Stops Williams after a gain of only two. Last week we had the opportunity to see Dante Williams rush for over 100 yards. And coming second and seven. This is Dante Williams again, right side. Flag is down, and Williams is going to be cut down after a gain of only a yard. And, Jim, whenever you see the flag in the middle of the field like that, it's, it, it's going to be an... T behind Wakefield. Dante Williams in motion. will have the ball right side. Can he get outside? Dante Williams will get out across the 30-yard line. Looks like he has enough for a plant first down. Jim Plant is going to continue to, to run Thomas up the middle, up the middle to set up. Plant with double wide outs to the left side. Wakefield from the shotgun. Lots of pressure. Unloads to Dante Williams on the screen. Williams has some room. Dante Williams dragged down from behind all the way down to the 31-yard line of Hillsboro. First down Plant. And that was a, a, a great play. It was just a, as you see Dante Williams catching the ball in the middle, just breaking up. He dodges a the referee there. And he gets caught from behind. But it was a, a big gain and a first down for Plant. Wakefield gives the ball to Williams again. And this time he'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. And so far tonight, Jerry, they're calling. Wakefield will hand the ball to Dante Williams. Looks for a hole. Right side. Dante Williams has it and then some. He may go all the way. One man to beat. Dante Williams dragged down from behind on a great saving tackle by Adrian Harrison, but it will be first and goal for the Panthers. And I told you, Dante Williams is an exciting and explosive runner, and he showed it on that run there right now. But it was also an exceptional tackle by Adrian Harrison because you're talking about a linebacker that ran down an offensive uh, running back, and that was pretty exceptional on his part. Dante Williams takes the handoff here around the right end. He just cuts inside of all the block and a couple moves here. He gets a block from the receiver right there. And then he just tries to make it to the end zone and Mr. Harrison takes him down at the one. Except for Wakefield. He will give Dante Williams right side. Has some room. Dante Williams will be horse collared out of bounds all the way down to the Terrier 35 yard line. First down plant. And you can see it happening that Hillsborough's actually starting to make the mistakes on their part and put, bringing the plant offense back into the game. Uh, they've had plant stop twice uh, and, and by penalties have brought them back into at least with this drive and, and plants and Dante Williams with that carry seems to be uh, taking advantage of the extra opportunity. You can see him carrying the ball out wide here to the right and it's just a foot race and uh, number 15. Thomas and Williams in the backfield. Dante Williams gets the ball, cuts in, and Dante Williams still on his feet down to the 25-yard line. Boy, when Dante Williams gets a rock, and he's tough to bring down. Yeah, Dante averages over six yards a carry, and you think when you look at that, Thomas lined up behind him. This is Dante Williams, handoff, two points, plant leads. And it looks like they may have thrown a flag in the backfield. Let's are in the secondary, but let's see. Wakefield will give to Dante Williams. Sweeps right side. Dante Williams has the first down and more. He is run out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. Thomas Miller once again with a tackle. First and goal plant. Yes, he is. Hillsborough's been un unable to stop that run all night. Dante Williams around the right end. Uh, Dante Williams is having a big night, and they're just doing basically the same thing every play, coming out and just beating them around the corner. Dante Williams now with 104 yards in rushing. Backfield for Wakefield. This is Dante Williams. Cuts it inside, and he will be hit hard at about the 8-yard line. That will bring up second down and goal to go. Wakefield hands the ball. Dante Williams right side. He will go in for the plant touchdown. Once again, Dante Williams. Scored. Outside sweep to Dante Williams. As you see here, uh, this play's been very successful all day in this game. Dante Williams, right side, touchdown, plant. And Jim, I think Flag we, in the backfield, though. Let's wait and see. But I think we've seen that guy in his back. Boy, watch Dante Williams here again. 
He just gets around the corner and he outruns him to the to the end zone. And that's something at halftime and, and kind of put a stop to the Hillsborough running game. Dante Williams with a football into the Hillsborough secondary. Dante Williams still with the ball, and he will be run down from behind on a touchdown saving tackle by Tavon Sunday. But even that tackle was tough. Williams didn't want to go down. No, he didn't. And I'll tell you, Williams threw about 20 moves on that play. Uh, started wide, cut inside. It was an ex a great run. Great run by Dante Williams. Dante Williams putting on a show here tonight for the Plant Panthers. Dante Boy, watch the high pitch. step. Look at this. Yeah, look at that move there. He got a couple good blocks downfield, too. And he, number 12, grabbed a hold of him. And he, well, he got a third line. The Panthers knocking on that door again. Dante Williams. Get in the backfield, still squirts loose for a gain of a couple down to the 14. Clock is down to 2.15 to go, and the Hillsborough Terriers are going to call a timeout. You know, it's interesting, Jerry, when Plant, it doesn't really matter what time of the game the ball is, Plant has the ball, it's still the same basic offense because it's going to be Williams or Greg Thomas running the ball. Yes, it is, but... You've and a good look there at Roland Acosta, the head coach of the Plan High School Panthers. It's called working the horse when you get a chance, huh? Yes, it is. I can't blame him. Well, he's earned his keep here tonight. And a good look as you see us centering in on the guy we got to say certainly is a player. Williams, or will it be Wakefield? It will be Dante Williams. And he will be in for the Panther touchdown. And tonight's getting ready to kick off to the Plan Panthers. Hello, everyone. I'm Rick Fuey along with Jerry Bell, and uh, here we go. The opening kickoff taken at the five-yard line, coming back towards the center of the field, and Gann tackled right at about the 26-yard line. To mix things up and keep the defense confused. Second down, Wakefield on the handoff to Dante Williams up the middle. Dante Williams still with the ball. It looks as he gets about six yards on a good carry right up the gut for Dante Williams. To Dante Williams, a handoff, and absolutely nothing there is a big time tackle by the linebacker, number 57, Danny Calvo. Control the clock. This could very well be the last play as the ball gets dumped off to Dante Williams. Dante Williams with a lot of room to run. The last man to get him is number 14 as he makes it. Joe Lundy with the saving tackle. As Dante Williams takes the little screen pass over the middle, rumbles down to the 20-yard line. Hand off to Dante Williams around the end. Another big gain for Dante Williams as he gets 10, maybe 11 yards on the carry. First carry of the game, uh, or pardon, of the second half for Dante Williams. And he'll pick up. Wakefield takes a snap, another quick center. This one to Dante Williams on the counter. Dante Williams... Carries forward for a six-yard gain. It'll be third down, four to go. Good look there at Dante Williams as he comes back. He's had a couple of quarter. And that's the perfect play call for that situation. Plant has been running the football up the middle of the field or on a sweep to the outside with Dante Williams or Greg Thomas. On that play, they've given Robinson to that two, over 200-yard total. Wayfield again, this time to Dante Williams as he skirts his way through and goes barely untouched as now the plain offensive line dominating the trenches. Dante Williams with a nine-yard spurt into the end zone. Touchdown plant. And what plant did on that play was just hand the ball off to Thomas on that drive, hand it off to Thomas to Thomas, and when they got in close, handed the ball to Wakefield on a reverse that's somewhat against the grain of the way they've been running their offense and it resulted in a, in a wide open almost untouched touchdown there and wakefield with the extra point it's up it's good it makes it 28 16 in favor of plant with just over 10 minutes to go in the fourth quarter and jerry it looks as though the the pounding the running that plant's been doing all night long is starting to take an effect on the robinson knights defense but when you have the type of offense that Plant has, you just continually beat on them. And you watch here, Dante Williams is going to take that handoff, cut into a hole. The offensive line is moving. It's just a sophomore. We're going to see more of him tonight. A nice kick. Dante Williams takes it at his own eight. Dante Williams at the 30. Dante Williams at the 35 to the 40, down at the 42-yard line. 
A very good return by the Flame Panther of Lado in the game. Wakefield again on the keeper looking downfield. He's got a man open. Dante Williams with the reception. Down to the Robinson 36-yard line. A big toss there and certainly had everyone fooled. A big third down conversion. And the clock now to three minutes and 30 seconds as they stop it momentarily to move the chains. Every coach keeps a play in their playbook and saves it for later. You're going to see a fake handoff here. Wakefield just dropped back and tossed Dante Williams. Now, you remember to start the play, Dante Williams was in the offensive backfield. He ran the play fake and then ran the route up the middle of the field. So, it is. Wakefield with a handoff to Dante Williams. Cuts it back across the middle, carrying the Robinson defense down to the... First play from scrimmage. They run the sweep out to the right side. This time they give it right to there. Big tailback Dante Williams. And he pulls forward for about seven yards. Good pickup on first down. This is a different offense to face against. Uh, Clearwater has to really settle down and start reading. Like the play right before that, except that Williams kept the football. There we go again. Williams this time off the right side, and he's one tackle away. Lennart Hayes grabs him around the ankle. He was one tackle away from breaking that one as he came along the right side from a touchdown. We're seeing why this Panther offense averaged over 300 yards per game rushing the ball. And here's Dante Williams getting outside. That's what he says. He has the outside speed. He really stretches the defense and stretches it he does on this play, George. Nice job by the guys on the left side of the offensive line as they pulled and came down the line. Nice rushing stats there for Dante. Sam Watson to chase him down the field from his defensive end position. This time the handoff going to the left side. Nice job by Dante Williams to run the football over there to the left with him. But that's what enables them to be so successful, having such a one-two punch. Take a look at Dante Williams' stats. The game versus East Bay. This time the handoff going out to the right side. That's Dante Williams again. Very close to a first down as he's hauled down. They run that counter action. They pull those big linemen, Mark, and that, that's just going to be so confusing for the defense, especially if you haven't faced that wing T-style offense. For Tampa Plant, we'll see if the Panthers can capitalize this time. They're on the four-yard line. They run the sweep out to the right side. Touchdown. Dante Williams on the carry. He takes it around the right side. Have enough time for one more play. They get it off before it hits double zeros. And that's Dante Williams eluding tacklers and taking out almost to midfield, but that will be the... Brad Wakefield back in quarterback, back at quarterback for Tampa Plant and pulling his way over there to the left side or to the right side, excuse me, Dante Williams. And once again, it's just that methodical ground attack field goal. Handoff comes out to the near side of the field, breaking a couple of tackles and picking up substantial yardage is Dante Williams. Nice run by Williams, and we really got to look at his speed on the outside, 16 yards on the play. We talked about Dante Williams' speed to get outside, and here's this sweet play again. Both guards pulling again. No surprise what where this play is going. It's going outside, and Dante Williams is going to use his speed. He breaks a couple tackles, one by Jay Jackson there, and here comes Phillip Nash to knock him out of bounds, and he... He told us that the sweep was their bread and butter. And they run it again, this time off to the left side. And once again, it's Williams. And that one picks up four yards, and a flag comes flying in rather late. This seems to be a tight game here, and some tempers are flaring on safety back in the first half. Nice penetration in the backfield, but Williams able to break the tackle. That was Elijah Davis shooting through the gap and making a big play in the back to, uh, to, to slow that run down on that play. But you can see that the excellent leg drive, the, the good quick feet that uh, Williams is able to use right here and get back up field. Dante Williams just couldn't wrap him up. He came and hit him kind of high, but a great... Back here at Jack White Stadium, a little screen pass over the middle by Wakefield to Dante Williams. Dante out close to the first down on that fourth down play. Or on the third down play, excuse me, that'll bring up. William 
is in motion. Wakefield back to pass again. He's got plenty of pressure. They throw over the middle to Williams, and he's brought down immediately by Leonard Hayes, and he will be short of the first down by about a yard. So that brings up another fourth and short situation for Tampa Plant. Well, this is a different looking play. We haven't seen all day long. They went to it as a passing formation where they motioned uh, Dante Williams out the backfield and then actually threw him the ball. He came up short on this fourth down. Now Plan has to put all the eggs. be a fake.
back anymore. Yeah. 